Hi guys and welcome back to I'll Read What She's Reading. I'm Michaela. I'm Reggie. And I'm Kennedy. And today you guys are getting to know us. You guys submitted questions on our Instagram and we're going to answer them. Which feels weird because we literally only talk about books. So maybe that's why we had some people when I did that question box a while back. They were like, we just want to know more about you guys. I'm like, really? We've only been doing this for about a year and they know next to nothing about us. Yeah, so now we're going to give you all the tea on ourselves. I'm feeling a bit nervous. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> you guys. No, just kidding. I like you guys knowing me, but I feel I'm not interesting or <laughs> so, have anything worthwhile for you guys to get to know me about besides books. So same. If you guys don't like this episode, I apologize. <laughs> but there are some good questions, so I'm excited. Me too. And some of them are book related, too. I okay. feel like you can get to know people fairly well based off of book stuff. Book stuff. Yeah. So are we just jumping right did in? Did we want to share what we're reading first? Oh, yeah. We? Oh, sure. Okay. Well, I know something we're all, well, Michaela and Reggie just finished this and I am probably like 80 pages away from finishing and it's Daisy Hates the, the Great, Great Undoing. Undoing. Yeah. And I'll let them share their thoughts because they finished it. Don't spoil it for me. Yeah. We're not, I don't. I really liked it. There was, <laughs> I think all. it was Sarah Caroli. Her review for it on Goodreads was no thoughts, just tears. Oh, I have that to look forward to. So great. And here's all. the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. You guys might know this. You might know not, but I am the ball baby out of the three of us. I cry in every book. I swear. I just cry all the time. So if you guys were feeling tears. I don't know if I'm prepared. I was the most I'm the most soulless no just you're kidding. not no you're not <laughs> I have no soul just kidding I don't know it's just definitely definitely <laughs> those bu- audiobooks are wearing on me I'm catching their accents Christian has like a I feel like he has almost like an Irish kind of accent yeah, it's, it's a, Jamie Tart yeah he sounds like Jamie Tart it's a it's just because like in the UK depending on where you are based it's like almost if you have your Utah <laughs> yeah. Western accent, then you have yeah. like a Southern accent. So it's just, I can't remember what it is called. I literally looked it up Yeah, earlier today, but I forgot. I love it. We're still talking about it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just, there's, here's the thing. If you listening to this haven't read Magnolia Parks, I would say give it a try. Just know that it's a little bit repetitive and it's kind of a very niche taste, I feel, of books. Mm -hmm. But it's almost a mashup between romance and fiction. If you like Gossip Girl, you'll eat this book series up. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much the same thing, just a little bit older and based in the UK. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there's not necessarily a Gossip Girl, but it's high society london gang lords <laughs> very toxic and messy but the thing that has really sold me on these books is just the way that jessa hastings writes yeah. mm-hmm. it's like reality tv you can't turn off but it's like beautifully written mm-hmm. reality yeah. tv <laughs> yeah i don't know yeah. how to explain it it's so good it's it is very good and yes. the day we're recording this, the new Magnolia Parks gets released. It releases today. Yeah. So, anyways, what else are you guys... What are you going to read next? I actually don't know. I haven't quite decided. Have you decided? I I mean, I'm still trying to make my way through Two Twisted Crowns. I'm loving it. I just... I was getting so heavily invested in listening to the audiobook of The Great Undoing. And so... Anyways, once I finish that, I think my next physical read might be Daughter of No Worlds. Ooh, Kindle Unlimited. Just because if I'm going to have a child here soon, I think having reading on my Kindle is going to be a lot easier for me than reading a physical book. Mm -hmm. And so there's a few books in that series. I can't remember how many. Yeah, I like get tempted to read books that you two have read that I haven't read yet. But then I'm like... I don't always want to just be piggybacking off of everything you guys read, (laughs) which I know you like what you read and, you know, I'll read what she's reading, have good (laughs) suggestions, but I'm kind of missing Carissa Broadbent a little bit. So I think I'm going to give it a go. 
I saw a TikTok that that book has under 8,000 reviews. Really? I'm kind of shook yeah, by that. Yeah, Daughter of Some the Worlds. People, at least the time the girl posted it, it did. Well, I feel like Serpents in the Wings of the Night is also very underrated. Yeah. I saw a TikTok recently where someone was saying they thought Daughter, Daughter of No Worlds was better than Serpents. So that's why I'm like, hmm, I really liked Serpents. I'm my curiosity is getting the best of me right now. It's, so it's three books, right? I think it's three. Okay. I think, well, I'm in the middle of about six different series right now, but <laughs> I was going to say yeah, you are. Yeah. So it's going to take me a second to remember what happened in each of them, but I think I'm going to go back to the Cruel Prince trilogy and do the Wicked King. Is that the second one? Mm-hmm. I really love Jude and that's all I'm gonna say is I love Jude and the first book wasn't very great it was okay but I've heard they get better and I've almost had it spoiled for me a few different times I'm gonna go back to it so are you gonna finish Shadow and Bone yes because I want to read Six of Crows so you guys I'm in the middle of Scythe I'm in the middle of Shadow and Bone I'm in the middle of The Cruel Prince I'm in the middle of Magnolia Parks I think that's it. Yeah. Talented queen. Well, they're all a different, a little bit different, but I'm going back to Cool Prince. I love it. I'm going back to Elfamy. Is that what it's called? Elfame? Elfame. Elfame. I think that's I how you say it. I don't know how Harvey say it, but that's what I'm going back to. I think I'm going to try to continue with the Stalking Jack the Ripper series because I have a really hard time like splitting up series. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I'm going to try to the next one is um, mm, s- slaying Dracula like oh yeah I actually <laughs> at first I thought that the second book was going to be a completely different person I don't know why oh so it's literally someone killing no. Jack the Ripper don't tell me anything I'm not going have- <laughs> to tell you anything oh it's hunting Prince Dracula at first I thought after I fin no, before I finished the first book, I thought that it was going to be someone different mm. in the second book because it takes place in a different place. But she she made it all come together beautifully. So yeah, I'm I, excited about it. I added that to my Libby. I think it's a two month wait. But I when know, I but get it to it, it sucks because there's only the first book on the Libby. Oh, the rest of them don't have audiobooks for it. Are they on Spotify? I'm gonna check. Maybe. And so I feel like I'm having a hard time reading it because I'm actually, I really liked listening to it because they had mm-hmm. accents because it's also oh. based in like the UK. They are on Spotify. Oh, they're on Spotify. Yes. God they're bless on Spotify. Spotify premium. Darn it. <laughs> I will say though, I'll do you guys? A Spotify girly. You should. <laughs> I will say, I always feel guilty. For example, I didn't even finish my thought. I feel guilty listening to books that I physically have sometimes because I've paid money for these books. Yeah. For example, I have all of Abby Jimenez's books. I have yours truly. I had it available to me on the Libby app, but I let the lap, I let the hold lapse. And I feel guilty reading it or listening to it because I have the physical book. I feel like I should actually I read it. I feel that a lot. Eh. If it's free, I, mean, I don't. Technically, you're paying for it, but like not. Because I think I was already paying the same amount. I mean, I listened on the Libby yeah. app, yeah. so it oh, was no. free for me makes sense because i don't have spotify girl math so girl math i if i have to pay for it then i'm definitely going to read it but if i can get it for free then i'm going to listen to it because i just reserved the red queen series again on the libby app have you read that yeah i'm just re i'm gonna re-listen to it do i have no i i have crush um the crush series but I do want to read Red Queen so badly. Mm. I love seeing, is, her name's Avery, right? Mm-hmm. I love her TikToks. Yeah, she's really cute. She seems cool. All right. Should we get into it? Let's do it. Let's do it. I feel we should ask, we have this question, we, we are asked this question a lot. I feel like we should answer the question of how we met, how our friendship started. And then we can kind of get into how the yeah. podcast came to be. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. I feel like we've briefly mentioned something about it, but I know it's probably been a long time. Yeah. And we have a lot of new listeners. So how we met, 
you guys want to start first yeah sure um <laughs> <laughs> just ignore me for a second Stop it. i'm not here <laughs> you say you tell how the podcast started yeah okay okay chill oh yeah yeah okay I'll s- save that for me <laughs> okay <laughs> we all have the same job we are all photographers in utah we're wedding photographers and we had a mutual friend shout out to kendall if you're listening to this that invited us to a christmas party and we went to the christmas party and then ever since then we've been friends but but oh my turn <laughs> your turn but i have kennedy and i have known each other since like fifth grade I, fourth it's gotta grade. be before I mean, before then so we went to the same elementary school we were in the same fifth grade class though so we were friends in fifth grade i'm still so mad that i have not dug through that big box my mom gave me of all my old notes and school stuff because i know kennedy wrote me a note light it that on fire i never threw away with her picture your book picture in it that I really want to read um but yeah but then we like split up and went to different middle schools and then after that we weren't friends because we just hang out hung out with different crowds for like two years before we joined high school and then after high school is when we became photographers so then we started shooting together after high school so and I'm sure everyone in our high school is thinking oh reggie and kennedy are friends that's weird i have a book podcast odd weird (laughs) but here we are so common interests yeah and then yeah enter michaela at this christmas party enter me i just inserted myself into their friendship no you did not (laughs) you complete us oh stop guys Mm. stop it um uh we did i come i don't know i had been a reader before i had met them and actually i can't remember no yes i've been a reader for a while but the year that we were like getting to know each other i had very much been on a reading kick so i was reading all of the things all of the things and then who convinced you guys to start at Qatar? I don't know. I really genuinely think that you got me into reading in the first place because I don't know how in the world I ever even picked up a Colleen Hoover book. Was it me? I feel like you got me into reading. I feel like we had a conversation one day when we were all hanging out as a group. Okay. Where we were talking about Colleen Hoover. Okay. So I think it was because I had read a few of her books and I think you had Mm -hmm. read a few of her books and then we all decided to read Akatar at the same time. Yeah, I think I started it right after you guys finished the first book because mm-hmm. I was having FOMO, but I was like, I don't like fantasy. I don't know if I can do this. And you guys were like, just do it. And then my life changed for the best. Yeah. Um, we were reading it on the way to Harry Styles in Palm Springs, and we w- could not like shut up about the book, and we had so much fun talking about different things that happened in each book and our favorite parts our least favorite parts who we envisioned as characters and then we decided to start a podcast (laughs) just to uh give us a segue into talking about each of our books and people i don't know people seemed interested (laughs) maybe (laughs) in what we had to say uh and yeah it's just kind of grown from there and we've had a lot of fun doing it so i know it's crazy that it's almost been a year i know it's crazy it's wild. wild how many episodes later i don't even know i don't either it's been a decent amount that's all i know how many weeks are in a year i can go see how many episodes we have ever, out. have we ever skipped a week nope no and that's we've had some... one bonus episode mm-hmm. so dedication like 50 no not 50 40 i don't know we're approaching april so that's kind of our story someone asked um how we came up with a name for our podcast (laughs) which is so funny because i just remember so vividly that conversation we were like are we really gonna do this are we actually gonna do it you're like well we gotta come up with a name you want to know what i wanted to name our podcast so badly but it was already taken 
was the inner circle mm. mm-hmm. yes i wanted that to be our podcast name so badly we tried a million different ways to try and make it work but there was another podcast name with that and obviously when you're searching a podcast it's hard to find yeah if someone else already has a podcast with the same name we probably a few weeks it took us like a few weeks to yeah we had like a shared no oh so many names you guys so like like probably 30 different things that we like brainstormed i don't even know when we decided do you guys remember when we're like i'll read what she's reading that's it that's the name no i don't remember that i don't remember that either i remember the conversation about inner circle Mm -hmm. but that's it that's just our group chat name so Mm -hmm. (laughs) not even i'll read what she's reading (laughs) i think yeah i don't remember it was just one of the names on that list and we decided to run with it i don't even remember what the other names were other than the inner circle yeah same i actually that was my bad the inner circle was a good idea but i feel very good with the podcast name we have now just because we do talk a lot more about books that aren't just fantasy not that it i don't know and having something book related in the title i just feel i don't know it was just a stroke of genius one day yeah i know kennedy is the one who came up with it though i got it off google so shout out to google i think i googled book club names mm. or names to name your book club and i think that was one yeah of there them. was a bunch of different blogs that were like the reading sisters the <laughs> three girls in a book you know yeah i was trying to find the list and i couldn't find it. i accidentally deleted that note oh. my bad that was my bad that's Ooh. okay yeah, so it's, sorry our notes app is getting a little messy yeah it's all right we got a million but it's kind of fun it's like a little journal okay someone asked what did you do before photography and the podcast or i guess better Mm. let's say have you always been photographers or did you have other careers first i haven't done anything different okay but that's cool Mm. Uh, i yeah i've i've i started photography my junior year of high school um like actually having paying clients i started probably my freshman year and that was just more for fun and then my junior year is when I actually started charging people. I mean, I still sucked. (laughs) I doubt that. No. I will not be going back. I will not be reliving those photos. (laughs) But yeah, that's all. It's all I've ever done. I feel like. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I feel like we should say how old we are. Because someone did. A few people asked us how old we are. Because like when Michaela was a. Were you saying this in high school? A junior in high school or Mm -hmm. college? uh high school high school so it was 2016 how old are you michaela i'm 23 reggie how old are you 28 i am also 20 Ooh, yeah you're almost no i'm 27 so michaela's a little bit younger than us but i'm just a baby <laughs> you went to you went to college though did you were you going to study something different other than photography in college no okay i was going to college to be in college I had no idea like I didn't have like a major um I was just doing my generals and I was just kind of gonna decide after I got all my generals done but then I dropped out don't recommend that for everyone but uh, it just didn't make sense I already had a job and a career and school was definitely put on the back burner for me so I was like this isn't I'm paying lots of money to go to school and it's not my priority so but yeah. it was a good decision for you yeah it was yeah. that's yeah. that's how it was for me i after i graduated high school i was getting into like photo and video stuff but i just genuinely did not think because that was what 2014 i didn't think i could make it a job by any means so like full time and i just felt the pressure to like get a degree and so i changed my major about four times <laughs> that's okay I was like, what were my majors? I was like a FCHD major, a journalism major, a vocal performance major. I feel like there was another one. Maybe it was just three. But I yeah, I felt like Michaela was like, I'm just wasting my money on school when I was I would get so depressed if I couldn't go shoot a wedding that I wanted to shoot because I had a 
a an exam that day Mm -hmm. and so but during that time while I was going to school being a photographer slash videographer I was also working as a personal shopper at a grocery store (laughs) and then after that I worked for a I worked for the marketing team for Costa Vida for a while and it was very short-lived for a number of reasons but when I decided I wanted to quit there because it was not the best thing for me uh my mom was like you can just work full-time like you don't need to go back to school in the fall just work I was like I don't think I can do that and she's like yeah you can and my mom was kind of the one that pushed me and was like you can do it and as soon as I started advertising myself as like a full-time photographer then yeah I knew I could have started it so much earlier but I didn't so yeah (laughs) mine's the flip side my love my mom to death but she was very you have to go to college you have to get a degree she was always put this big emphasis on education with both me and my sister so I feel as if I have lived 500 million lives because I've had so many different jobs I went to school for so long but I'll just keep it brief so starting out I went to college and I wanted to be a marketing major quickly found out I did not like the business college I wasn't into it so then I switched to graphic design can't draw cried every day in one of my college classes because the professor would come up to me I was trying to draw a chair and he would tell me how horrible it was I cried it was bad so then I switched from graphic design to elementary education you guys keep in mind I'm paying for all of this okay I switched to elementary education I shadowed a teacher found out I didn't really love being around children and teaching children so then I went back to marketing Worked in a marketing job for a little while. Really didn't like marketing. (laughs) So then I decided I wanted to be a nurse and found out nursing school is really hard. So then I decided not to go to nursing school. I went to school to be a medical assistant. I actually finished that. Didn't work a day as a medical assistant. (laughs) God, this is so embarrassing. And then I actually ended up graduating from Utah State with a degree in speech. No. It's called deaf education and communication disorders, which is a bachelor's degree to become a speech therapist. And at the time, all throughout college, I had been doing photography part time. I was staying up till 3 a.m. trying to get my homework done and edit photos. But once I graduated with my bachelor's degree, I worked as a speech therapist in a school for like four months and I decided I didn't want to give up three more years of my life to get a master's. So I quit all my jobs and did photography full time. And it was the best decision I ever made. It's the most fun job. And you get to meet so many cool people, go to beautiful weddings and make connections like I have with these guys. And one trade for the world. I'm, I'm meant to be where I am. Yeah, same. Yeah, exactly. These two are very talented, too. So, so, are you. so is Michaela. N- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if you if you dig a little bit, you'll be able to find our photography accounts. But we won't be shameless and plug them right now. So, <laughs> no, it's a fun job. It, it is, is really fun. fun. Jinx. <laughs> All this right. This is why we just have so much in common. It's quite comical in a way. Yeah. It makes our friendship just make sense. Mm -hmm. I feel as if I'm gonna get sappy we never have like enough time together I feel like we always have things to talk about we never run out of topics and conversations go on for hours (laughs) yeah and we never hang out outside of podcasts well we do not we just really we not really though no that's why our podcasting days take hours <laughs> we podcast all day long when we podcast yeah but it's because we also talk in between each episode and we just have so much fun together it's mm-hmm. just honestly so much fun so. it really is a lot of you asked about our husbands because all three of us are married um 
we do share in our valentine's day episode which was like two weeks back yeah it's a book trope episode we share how we met our husbands there my our short answers i met my husband in high school through the choir we were both in (laughs) i met my husband in college i met my husband on twitter (laughs) there you have it but someone also asked like what our husbands are like i don't know do what do you want to share anything about what our husbands are like what they i don't know (laughs) i mean my husband's your typical small town boy from a little small town he's a guy's guy loves sports golf you know he's just a typical guy yeah one of these days we said this one time we need to put up our pictures of our husbands and have people guess who they think each like if they think we should yeah we really should who's husbands who i think people would be able to guess pretty quickly i think think so so too (laughs) (laughs) your guys's might be a little bit harder just because i mean yeah just don't put like their heights yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah if you so i think i'm like like, pretty close to the same height as kendall how tall is he he's five nine oh yeah i'm i may be a little taller than him how tall is cole yeah we traveled with michaela and cole and (laughs) all the pictures of the four of us together kendall and i were like we look so small (laughs) (laughs) michaela and cole are just really tall and he's um six two kyle's six foot yeah uh my husband is he's very goofy um i don't know just pretty much mm, he's your typical guy sports golf he's a hobbyist (laughs) he's calling you right now oh boy (laughs) uh yeah he's a hobbyist he will pick up a hobby for a few months at a time and then quit and never touch it again it's so fun (laughs) um he he is very goofy and i love him very much so nice um my husband his name is kendall um did we say did you guys say the name no i didn't know if you did so i was like (laughs) anyways he loves loves sports he watches every sport on tv and i'm like can we not watch sports but we love that he loves that um he loves to cook which has been a very big blessing in my life. So that's that's a flex of mine that my husband likes to cook. Um, very big business entrepreneur guy. Also very goofy. And he's just really right. Yeah. He's really great. All of so. our husbands bond over sports. Whenever mm-hmm. they've gone together, down. they only talk about sports. It's great. And then we talk about books. <laughs> it's a great time. It is great. They have lots of things in common. So sports <laughs> and golf. Golf. Kendall doesn't golf, but he, I know he, the second he goes golfing with Kyle and Cole, he's going to be like, I need to get some golf clubs. I need to get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I also think that people think we all have kids. So Reggie, let's have you talk about your kids and then me and Michaela will talk about our kids oh okay <laughs> so I have a two and a half year old daughter named Lennon she's the best thing ever I don't know what you want me to share about her she is just a girl's girl mm-hmm. she is the ultimate girly girl she will perform for you she likes to lip sync to all the things she's always performing always talking she does not shut up (laughs) like literally we put her to bed she talks to herself until she falls asleep there can never be silence or she tells me that i need to start talking um (laughs) she's the best and then um in case you haven't noticed if you see our tiktoks or you haven't heard me talk about it or complain about it enough i am almost 36 weeks pregnant so I'm having a baby in about a month and I'm having another girl. So cute. And so that will be a good old time. I'm very excited. Very ready to have her here. So those are my children. <laughs> you go. Me go. Me go. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Sorry, guys. Um, I have a lovely boy. <laughs> He's a dog. <laughs> 
<laughs> his name is Zeus, and sometimes you will see a glimpse of him in our YouTube videos. He is the most cuddly, playful little boy ever. He loves these two. <laughs> He's definitely attacked. Reggie and kisses on her ears. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a sweet boy. He is a sweet boy. And he loves Kennedy because Kennedy plays with him. So, yeah, he's really sweet. That is my child. I have three children. Their names are Barnes. And it's not after Barnes and Noble. It's after Bucky <laughs> Barnes from Marvel. And then I have... Oh, Barnes is two and a half. Remy is five and then i have a 10 year old his name is still <laughs> but they're all dogs <laughs> i have actual kids they're all dogs um they are labs we have one of them's yellow one of them's chocolate and one of them is silver and they're the best it's a lot they sleep in my bed with me and my husband so imagine two humans and three dogs all in one bed it's a good time and I love them to death. They're little angel sweeties and couldn't picture my life without them. They're great. They are fun. I don't have a dog. <laughs> but y- you just uh, one day get our dogs for a, a few and hours. And you get my child. And I get your whenever child. Whenever she's around. So what's mine is yours. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Someone asked our hobbies outside of reading. Let's say hobbies outside of reading and our jobs yeah (laughs) um kennedy and i've been getting into sourdough making we're sourdough girlies yes that's been a really fun hobby which is so crazy because before we became friends like the three of us i feel like my only hobby was my job same and i it was kind of a depressing thing quite honestly my husband would be like you need to like do something else besides take pictures (laughs) or like make some friends (laughs) And I was like, I'm just married to my job. Um, So I feel very grateful for our friendship because it's made me have a very big hobby outside of my job, which is reading and podcasting. But yeah, I just felt like sharing that. But sourdough, I know this, maybe you wouldn't consider this a hobby, but this is like something I love. It's just traveling. Haven't done that since peru peru no i guess i just went to mexico oh mexico with the fam but yeah traveling is a big big hobby of mine not something i do frequently but before we had our daughter we did a lot of that and that was really fun so baking and traveling would be my two things i would say I don't have any hobbies <laughs> yeah you do um i mean i really like traveling but my husband gets <laughs> flight anxiety <laughs> so we're cool <laughs> i have to knock him out with some sleeping pills um we have traveled a lot since we have been married which has been really fun i would travel the world if he didn't get such bad anxiety sorry cole if you listen which he won't <laughs> um i guess i like i don't know i guess i'm a hobbyist too i dabble in a bunch of different things i really want to be better at sewing Ooh. uh my dream is to sew a beautiful dress like a ball gown dress that's like my dream well didn't you make those dresses for your nieces for christmas or something yeah one year? and they were so fun to make that's so cool you're so such a cool mom time consuming but it was really fun i like baking too um i like watching movies mm. i love pretending i'm a movie critique and <laughs> it would have been better if this sound score or like soundtrack i don't know it's yeah i like i don't know i get to, i just like life <laughs> i have fun with it so that's all i got you're good at it <laughs> Um, I really don't have that many hobbies outside of reading and sourdough. I would say one of my biggest hobbies is I'm a gym rat. Mm-hmm. She's shredded, you guys. I'm not mm-hmm. shredded. Mm-hmm. Um, she, I need Kennedy to be my personal trainer. <laughs> yeah. I was just blessed with good genetics because I eat like crap. But yeah, 
I would say the gym. I ran a Spartan race last year and I really want to keep running them. They're really, really fun. I, this isn't really a hobby, but I guess it kind of is. Me and my husband are, if you listen to our first episode ever of all time, I talked about this, but I'm a really huge Marvel nerd, like really huge. We absolutely love it. The Super Bowl was yesterday and the preview for Deadpool Mm -hmm. came out and me and my husband were squealing like little girls because we are so excited for that movie. I actually have a tattoo on my body from Marvel. So it's marked on me forever. My husband has a matching one. And we named our dog after Bucky Barnes. So we really, really love Marvel at our house. And that's really about it. I go golfing with my husband sometimes. But yeah, I'm not a big hobbyist, I guess you could say. You just dabble in things. The thing is, is we obviously live in Utah. And the winters here are kind of miserable. But our jobs... Our, the busiest time for our jobs is when the weather's the nicest. Mm-hmm. And I would love to, you know, have other hobbies, but it's hard when you're busy in the summers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess you like playing sports. Mm-hmm. I like playing sports. Reggie likes pickleball. Me and Michaela are much of a sports girly. I wish I was. <laughs> Me and Michaela are Disney adults. And Disney adults. <laughs> I say that lightly. Yeah, we're not that crazy. Reggie would have been with us when we went to Disney World. It's just she's perking it. She's so, kind of with child. You would have loved wheeling me around in a wheelchair <laughs> at Disney Honestly, World. We would have gone to the front of the lines with you yeah. in a wheelchair. I know, and I would have been like, I can't ride the ride, but I'll just wait for you right here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we we like going to Disney. Mm-hmm. Oh, foodies! I feel oh, like we're yeah. all foodies. We love yeah. trying we love food. new foods uh food it's always on our mind what we're gonna eat for lunch when mm-hmm. we're podcasting yeah like today the biggest thing was what are we eating for lunch not what episodes are we <laughs> recording today <laughs> which someone did ask this question what is your guys's favorite food thai food oh, thai food oh i, I think i would know. have to say yeah thai food mm. Mm, i have no idea i just like food <laughs> i love food i don't know do you have a favorite food i really like sushi but I also really like pizza. Mm. A good piece a good of pizza. pizza. I don't know. I really like a good sandwich. You do like a sandwich. Do. I like sandwiches. I don't know what's wrong with me. I also love a good like rice bowl mm. with, you know, a bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. It could be anything and I will eat it. I don't know. I just love food. So I don't know if I necessarily have a favorite. I just you know what you don't like. Yeah. But I just love food. I am a big sweet tooth. I love sweet things. Mm. Always have to have a dessert after a savory meal. That is very true. Same. <laughs> Candy, I'm gone. I love like <laughs> I love it. when we were in Peru, it was like Kendall and Cole were like, what are we going to eat for dinner? And me and Michaela are like, so like we're going to get dessert after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, like does this place crepes. have dessert? Yeah. It was. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else. I like it. I don't have I a burp. Um, are there any other ones? Do you guys do you guys snack while you read? Someone said, "What's your favorite reading snack?" On the topic of food, I do snack Same. occasionally. There's nothing better than okay. This is kind of weird, but draw in a bath. You mm. get a little snack spread. I don't know why I said like you're drawing in your bath, <laughs> like. <laughs> hey, i have crayons in my bathtub i don't I know if you like, guys have noticed that drawing in a bath <laughs> okay continue it now yeah, i understand the, yeah draw, draw, getting a turning filling the up bath the tub. on filling up the tub filling it up putting some soap not drawing on the bath okay mm-hmm. my bad i don't know it depends on my mood i feel i usually have something sweet and something salty you gotta have the combo. a chip mm-hmm. and then something sweet i what? feel like my go-to is popcorn Ooh, and then yeah. like or like a chip mm-hmm. mm. and then something like a cookie or <laughs> <laughs> or should i say vegetables and fruit <laughs> uh, or like candy i love sweet tarts ropes that is my favorite candy they <laughs> really got me hooked on those they're Ever since so good they're so good 
I don't know what's about them, but I could eat an entire pack in one sitting. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't look at how many calories are on it. I it's don't right. feel like I eat a lot while I read. I don't think I do. I'm more of like a beverage. So Ooh. my thing is I've been taking a bath every night for my aching body. Yeah. And I pour myself a glass of something. It's like some fresca, mm. some water with lemon. <laughs> wow exotic <laughs> i love it i don't know i tried making this like weird little cranberry soda drink the other night it was okay but i always just need to have like a drink next to me i do like some fun so, fruity drinks me too but when i'm driving i'm eating everything yeah my middle console is just i should say food my audiobook snacks <laughs> Yeah, that you while you're driving, chips, candy, apples, sandwiches. <laughs> I've become very good at eating and driving. Yep, same. <laughs> okay. Um, do you guys know your is it Scor- 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 Scorpio? Oh, oh, you're like um, your zodiac sign. Zodiac, your zodiac sign. sign. Yeah, I'm a Libra. A Libra. I'm an Aries. I'm a Leo. I don't know what your guys' mean. I, only I don't know, know what your guys' means either. I don't really... I just know what mine means. My sister is really into Zodiac signs, and so she's told me a lot about mine, and it's pretty accurate. It is kind of scary it how accurate kind of, it is. Every time... But then I hate when they do book characters <laughs> based off of your <laughs> Zodiac <laughs> sign, and mine's always the worst. I don't know if they people oh, I wanna, like, look that up. have like hate against Leos, but I need some better Leos, please. Just kidding. I'm sure I they're did. very. I scrolled the other day on one. Your book boyfriend based on your zodiac sign. Mine was Zayden. Oh. Oh. So. I think you guys probably get good ones, and then I. I don't, I don't know, but there's hate against Leos for some reason. It's fine. But I feel like in real life, I feel like Zayden might be an Aries, and I don't f- like an Aries Ooh, and an Aries. Guys. This what? is interesting. Hmm. Um, according to the some <laughs> magazine, uh, it tells you what your book character is based off of. Ooh, let's hear it. This is your... entertaining to me. Oh, based on your zodiac kidding. sign. I saw Harry Potter in there, so I thought it was interesting, but it's a bunch of characters from books I don't actually Maybe know. let's look up. I'm just going to look up Akatar characters, Zodiac signs. Okay. You guys ready for this? Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. What are you, Michaela? I'm a Leo. So is Cassian. Oh. Ooh. What I are can you, honestly Reggie? see that. Libra. More. More. Mm. There are no Aries in actar you let me what, look up you want to know who i bet hold on how do we know when these class. people were born it's probably just based on it's their personality. personality but okay it, here's throne of glass <laughs> i don't okay, want to here mind. we go okay here's aries this is sjm characters mm. okay for aries we have tamlin <laughs> <laughs> I mean, aelin mm, pollux mm. Ooh. okay what are you leo See, this is mixed signals because I just told Reggie she was more, but apparently, according to this list, more is a Leo. Uh huh. Manon is a Leo. Oh, okay. Hunt is a Leo. Mm, okay. What are you getting? Libra. 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 Emery is a Libra. Okay. Kale is a Libra. Okay. Chale. And Lydia is a Libra. Oh, I guess. So, dang. There you have it. I had Hunt, Manon, and... Hey, you had Manon. Who else? Manon. Maybe that's why we're friends. Maybe. (laughs) Side eye. (laughs) Oh, someone asked if it was scary for us to start the podcast. I don't think it was. I just don't think we anticipated what has happened with this podcast. Yeah. No. I don't think there was any... If they would have, like, someone would have asked, like, oh, where do you see your podcast a year from now? I would not say where we are right now. I'd be like, yeah. friends listen to it, and that's it. I would probably be like, oh, I don't know if we'd still be doing it. 
I don't know. Just because you never know. Yeah. The other day I texted these guys and it's to this day still blows my mind that number one, listeners will hear us talk about books and read books just because we liked them. That makes me almost a little bit emotional that people trust us enough to not waste their time, but spend so much time reading books that we recommend. Yeah. And number two, that people listen to this podcast in general. Mm Mm-hmm it's crazy or they or you guys will message us and ask us for recommendations and it's just it blows my mind and it's just so cool so if you're listening to this thank you and we love you because it's just yeah yeah. it's incredible we really appreciate it we are always like we get like a nice review yeah nice dm we're like screenshotting everything and sending it to each other yeah it just makes us so happy it's just so sweet we had never we heart you guys thought our so. camera's not working right now but we heart you guys mm-hmm. i'm sending a virtual hug and heart what is this called when do they switch to this michaela is doing the gen z or whatever version of the heart with the index finger and the middle <laughs> finger right I now i'm having such a hard time with it i think this is so much cuter it's so much cuter with yeah. the whole hand heart half heart i guess two yeah. hands equals a whole <laughs> a lot. um someone asked how we balance our work life our friendship life and our podcast life we don't can we skip this question (laughs) um yeah michaela you go ahead and answer this one (laughs) tell everybody how many weddings you shot last year uh i think i (laughs) shot close to 48 weddings last year um yeah i don't know how i did it to be honest uh i think books and our group chat and our podcast kept me sane um i think i would have had more mental breakdowns than i did have (laughs) (laughs) um i don't know honestly for me the podcast is just so much fun i mean at times it can be a little stressful editing the episodes and like getting content out there but 98% 98% of the time, it's just so fun for me. So, that's my answer. Yeah, I feel like because of our jobs, our schedules are all very different, even though we're doing very similar things. So, I do think this summer will be really nice because I think we've talked about setting aside certain days each month that we record. So, then it's like, oh, we don't book anything these days or whatever because the summer was so tricky we're like um the only day I can do is Tuesday oh well the only day I can do is Friday like Mm -hmm. it gets tricky but I mean if there's anything I've learned as an adult it's if there's things you want to prioritize you can make it happen so that's exactly chaotic that's why we don't really hang out outside of the podcast because or while we record and it's like oh we're just recording one episode today and then we're together for like five hours Mm because we're just chatting so it doesn't really feel like work to me I will say so I mean it's Mm -hmm. not like maybe I won't say that I was gonna say it's not like we're making money but (laughs) you it doesn't feel like a chore yeah yeah it just feels fun I get very excited so I definitely don't think there's some secret to being able to balance it all It, it doesn't feel like a balancing act it feels like a juggling act you know Mm -hmm. you just kind of juggle all the things that you're doing and i feel like because we all have the same lifestyle we are also all very understanding Mm -hmm. about each other's schedules and i think that also has contributed to us like being able to balance everything because i feel like we all understand like if you can't make something happen because we understand that you're busy you have a job you have a family you know so I think also being understanding that when there's other people involved by yourself like besides yourself you also have to be understanding that they have lives and we have jobs and yeah it's just yeah but it's been easy Mm -hmm. communications key (laughs) group chat group chat a shared google calendar yes that's the secret a notes app um should we just rapid fire some of these just quick ones yeah sure um if you were not photographers or podcasters what would you do 
I'd be a physical therapist. Oh, cool. Um, I really wanted to be a designer when I was younger. I so see it. I probably would be trying to pursue that, but I'd probably be failing. So <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I would probably be a some sort of like travel blogger <laughs> or a doula. Ooh. Mm. Okay. I would say I would love to be a postpartum nurse because I just think the world of them. But I don't think I could actually do that. Do it. I would need some flexibility in my in my life. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that would be one. Um, someone said, do you guys have advice for how to find book besties? Well, Honestly, really about us, but here's what I would say. If you have friends that don't read, maybe just try recommending a few books to them to read it's incredible to me how many people after i started this podcast found out that i read and they will ask me for book recommendations or how many people (laughs) i know this is so basic but i think i have gotten so many people to read akatar because i don't shut up about it so first i would say start out maybe with the friends that you have and see if they have any interest in reading after that maybe see if I mean, this is kind of chuggy and old school, but see if there's any Facebook groups for book clubs in your area. I don't know. We also would love to be friends with lots of you guys. Mm -hmm. And we are trying to hopefully plan in the near future some sort of meetup. So if you don't have access to friends who talk about books that we can just get a huge group of people to get together and just talk about their favorite books and just be in a community where they feel like they belong and Mm -hmm. they feel like they have people who they can relate to so hopefully that is in the near future because we really want to plan something like that yeah right if you have any (laughs) ideas let us know but i think yeah our dms are always open Mm -hmm. if you want to chat about books and sorry if we don't respond to you very quickly. We really do get a lot of DMs. Actually, surprising amount. Like, not to be like, we get so many DMs, but it's not DMs that are just, like, cool. Or, you know, it's mm-hmm. people genuinely being very thoughtful in, like, okay, I really want to read a book that has such and such element to it. Do you have any suggestions? Mm-hmm. And between the three of us we kind of collectively try to help you out so yeah i feel like that's pretty much all the questions i thought there were Mm -hmm. more like that's great that's great quick ones. i feel like some of the there someone asked you guys have a favorite genre i feel like we're all gonna say well i'm gonna say i'm gonna say fantasy same Um, fantasy yeah is romanticy actually a genre or oh. someone just combined it into I think romance fantasy is a subset of fantasy. Yeah. Yeah, I just remember when there was the Goodreads awards. There was a section that was fantasy and there was a section that was fantasy romance. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. So Yeah. Fun. All right. Well, I we were ending, right? Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and getting to know us just a little bit. Um, I think this definitely was a little bit out of our comfort zone, um, but we had a good time. Thank you guys for submitting those questions. Those were very fun and thought provoking. So (laughs) it was fun. Uh, Also kind of getting to know these two a little bit. I didn't know about the physical therapist and wanting to be a doula so that's fun and your favorite food <laughs> pizza <laughs> i love pizza and Thai it's food. just so much easier to talk about books other like book characters than it is to just talk about yourself so we probably won't be doing this frequently but we <laughs> hope you got to know us a little bit and thanks for tuning in yeah we will see you guys next week um you guys can follow us on tiktok or instagram at what she's reading pod we sometimes show our face on there so if you want to know what we look like you can just look at those anyways we'll see you next week bye Bye.